Back with more of our NBC News Now special as former President Trump is found guilty by a New York jury of 34 counts of falsifying business records. The former president also a candidate, but how is this playing out with Americans, voters across the country? NBC's Shaquille Brewster joins us now from Kenosha, Wisconsin, a battleground state. I should remind you with some perspective on that topic. Shaq, you talked to voters today after the ver verdict. What did they tell you? Well, Tom, you know, the thing here about Kenosha is that the needle doesn't really need to move that much in order for it to have an impact in this battleground state. Of course, we know how close Wisconsin is every election. This is a county that back in 2016, Donald Trump won by less than a fraction of a percentage point, And it's a county that helped elect the Democratic governor just two years after that. So it's a place where you have those swing voters. And based on the conversations I've been having so far in just a couple of hours after that verdict, after that conviction, there are some patterns that I've been picking up on. One is that it's still being digested by a lot of people. I've had plenty of conversations where people didn't know the headline or they saw the headline and said, what exactly was he convicted for? But you also hear that for those who do know about it, it's largely reinforcing what they already believed. I want you to listen to some of the exchanges I had with people just in the past couple of hours. Does this impact or alter at all how you view Donald Trump? <laughs> Absolutely not. Why not? Because <laughs> we already didn't work for him. So this just is uh, evidence that he shouldn't be in office. Just because there's a jury doesn't mean anything. There's a lot of people in um, different positions that could be charged for a lot of different things. For so far from what I see, it seems like I'd probably still vote Trump, but he doesn't seem like as good a candidate. Because of this conviction? Yeah. And that last comment makes you believe that if this continues to be in the headlines, we know there are more court hearings to come. There's that sentencing that we'll have in July that it could shift things around the margins. But the conversations that I've, that I've been having, people have brought up the issues as the things that will help them uh, decide who to support ultimately in this election. They bring up the economy. They bring up health care. They bring up immigration. They say that this is not going to be a determining factor, largely because this doesn't change how they view the former president for the better or for the worst. And how they view their lives and their problems, et cetera, et cetera. Shaq Brewster, thank you so much for that insight. It is so important on a day like today. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.